Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while. I think it's been around six months since my last video. Um, I don't only really have any excuses or reasons as to why I was gone. You know, just life hit me and maintaining a full-time job was also another whole thing. So I'm doing a lot better now and I feel like because we're in quarantine as well, um, people are trying to be more productive and that's what I'm trying to do as well. I want to put up more YouTube videos and content for you guys to, you know, give you more information on UXUI and kind of also what I've been doing as well. So. Stay tuned for those videos. I do want to say again, over these months, I've been looking at all the comments on my first video and I just want to thank everyone for the love and support on that video. It's great to see that I'm actually helping those um, who are newer to the industry and even people reaching out to me on LinkedIn. It's great to see that people are actually taking this information and pursuing what they really want to do. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about how to create your first UX project. So there are four things I do want to cover today. And the very first one is coming up with an idea or problem. Secondly, figuring out what type of project you want to create. Third, define goals for the project. And lastly, creating a write up so you can add to your portfolio, also known as a case study. So the very first thing in order to create a project is to have an idea or problem in mind. Since this is your very first UX project, I'm assuming that you have no experience. And that being said, this would be a passion project. So in order to get this passion project going, you need to brainstorm some ideas or problems that you like to solve. And to do that, I would say use it from personal experience. And the reason why I say from personal experience, it's just a lot easier to carry out your design process in the future. You're a lot more passionate about it and motivated to kind of finish the actual project. So basically, these experiences can come from your daily problems, daily frustrations, anything that, you know, that comes up to you. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to actually kind of reflect back to my own project and I will link my portfolio with that project in the description down below so you can check that out and basically I want to talk more about my actual project because it'll give you a better understanding on how you can uh, go about your own project as well so in terms of my own personal experience I reflected back onto my challenges working in retail so I used to work at Aritzia and Nordstrom as a sales associate and basically they really stress the idea about growing your business and this meant that the more clients you have, or I guess you could say valuable clients you have, the more money in your paycheck. And this applied more to Nordstrom because we had, we made commission and that meant anything that you sell, you make money off of. In terms of how we grew our clientele, it was very limited. And the way we did it was through walking customers, um, social media or, or even word of mouth and because it was so limited it was really really hard to grow my own clientele and because this was a part-time job i didn't really care that much but also i did care because i need to make money and you know etc so i thought i wasn't the only one you know who feels this way there must be more people who i work with who Feel the same way so i reached out to my fellow co-workers and asked them how they've been feeling about this process and way of getting clients and they definitely agreed with me that it was almost nearly impossible so i did some research on my own and went online to see if there were any platforms or products out there that help clients and stylists come together and find each other basically and what do you know there wasn't anything. And this leads to my next point, and that is defining what type of project you want to create. You want to do a bit of research before deciding this. So with the research that I did, I couldn't find anything online, and that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna create an app from scratch. My biggest tip here in terms of knowing what type of project you want to create, it really depends on the problem that you're trying to solve. To give you a better understanding of what I mean by this, I want to give you three different scenarios that you can work with. And the very first one is, you'll create a redesign project if there's already an existing product that is trying to solve your problem, but you want to tackle it another way to make the user experience better. Secondly, you'll add a new feature to an existing product that will enhance the user experience. And last, you can create a mobile app or website from scratch if there are no other products out there that solve your problem. So I just want to reiterate basically, to know what kind of product you want to create, it really depends on the problem that you're trying to solve. 
So after you figure out what type of project you want to create, we're going to start outlining the goals of the project itself. There is no right or wrong way to go about kind of talking about your design process. It's all about what makes sense to you and how you want to present your work as well. So I want to refer back to my own project, which is a CTU project, and I'll show you my design process of how I went through everything. So basically the first thing I did was defining the problem that I was trying to solve. And then I went into conducting user research to validate the problem. So there are many different user research methods out there. You can just Google and there are a bunch of articles that will explain each one and how to use it. And then I went into ideating and this is creating potential design solutions and also where you would be creating rough sketches and low fidelity wireframes. Then I went into validating my solution with the usability test and this is when you can see if your users actually understand your design decisions and can follow through. After that, I was started creating high fidelity wireframes and mockups. And the last step would be implementation, but of course, that only applies if it's the real thing. And today we're talking about passion projects. So that's more of an example of what I did for this particular project. Again, there is no right way. It just really depends on how you want to tell your story. The very last step into finishing this project, you're going to have to create a write-up and this would be called a case study. This part is pretty crucial and that's because you're going to put this case study onto your portfolio and this portfolio is going to be shown to people who are going to be interested in your work. Ideally, you know, a recruiter, an employer, a client, etc. So this can really help you land an internship or even a job. So essentially, you're going to just be taking everything that you've done so far and putting into words and telling a story how you went from a problem to a solution. In terms of putting this into words, you also want to make it pretty interesting and you know add lots of visuals in there and of course don't make it too long because ideally they're not going to go read through everything in your case study. Just put in the most important information. To kind of reiterate all the four steps, the very first thing is to find uh, an idea or a problem. Second, basically figure out what type of project you want to create. Third, um, kind of outline the goals of the actual project itself. And lastly, bring that all together and make a case study that you can show in your portfolio. So hopefully that was all helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys want me to go more in depth into one particular project on my portfolio, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll cover that for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.